The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Right Honorable Tajuddin Abbas, has appointed Honorable Wale Raji, a member representing Ekwe Federal Constituency of Lagos State, as the Chairman Hard Hoc Committee on Welfare. The Hard Hoc Committee is resaddled with the responsibility of effective running of the House pending the announcement of the Standing Committee Chairman. Stay with us as we bring you the interview segment. Right, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes, sir, for record purpose, um, can you introduce yourself? Wale Raji is my name. I represent a peripheral constituency of Lagos State in the House of Reps. Okay, thank, yeah. thank you for having us, sir. Thank you. So, um, let's talk about the emergence of the speaker. 353 out of 359 is yeah. huge. Yeah. So, why Honorable Abbas? Well, um, the outcome of the election, which many people have had are judged to be the most transparent and credible election in the of the speaker in the House of Reps uh, in recent time. Um, why Abbas? Because Tajuddin Abbas is an embodiment of capacity, legislative capacity legislative competence and is a man of character you know so for those of us who have interacted with him uh, in the last uh, four years you know we know him to be a, a gentleman and uh, is a silent achiever and uh, is uh, performance as a legislator in terms of the number of bills, you know, uh, is an evidence, you know, to show his competence and capacity as a legislator. It's on record that uh, in the last uh, assembly, he sponsored a total of uh, 70, 76 or 79 bills out of which uh, 21 were assented to by the Mr. President. Okay. So that's a record that uh, nobody since 1999 has beaten. You know, so um, uh, Tajun Abbas was the best among the, uh, the contestants, okay. you know. And the outcome of the election shows clearly that is a widely accepted, you know, candidate for that position. Okay, so moving forward, the sir, um, you were appointed again committee chairman, had a committee chairman on. Uh, um, welfare. Mm -hmm. So tell us your role and everything you think we should know about the committee. Well, uh, the committee, as the name uh, indicates, is about creating the enabling environment for members to perform their legislative roles from starting from allocation of offices, allocation of seats in the chamber, mm -hmm. and um, later on, equip office equipment, um, ensuring that uh, uh, faci or the facility is functioning optimally to enhance productivity, mm -hmm. uh, ensuring that the lifts are working, ensuring that uh, uh, the cooling system is in order and what have you, you know. So generally, it's, uh, the committee is charged with responsibility of to creating the enabling environment for members to, to perform and for the assembly to function effectively. We will consolidate on the achievements of the Ninth Assembly. And uh, we will work with the 
with the executive, the president, uh, in carrying out, carrying out reforms, economic reforms, you know, to uh, to improve our economic situation, because, and also, I mean, which he has already started anyway, uh, with the removal of uh, uh, subsidy on petroleum, which has really been the elephant in the in the room for so long. The assembly, particularly in the eighth, in the ninth assembly, uh, the performance was very good in terms of. Uh, the number of uh, deals that uh, were passed and assented to. Uh, it's on record that the Ninth Assembly, we brought sanity to our budgeting process. Uh, before the Ninth Assembly, the this budget cycle was distorted, you know, that we restored the uh, January to December cycle of the of the budget, and we maintained that throughout. You will not forget that is that uh, it was in the Ninth Assembly that uh, the PIB was passed after so many years on the drawing board, and uh, you also. We also remember the Ninth Assembly for the Electoral, Amend Electoral Amendment B Act that transformed the way uh, we conduct our elections. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you.